Hey guys, it's Tool Mega Man Seth Pony, and this video I'll be showing you how to make a real tool shop join Roblox here. So you will open up a shop and there you can buy tools with your game currency. Also, this view idea was a fan idea, so thank you for the idea. Anyways, let's get into this video. Okay, one so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to go into our store dry and end there you can enter a screen dry. Then we can rename it to tool shop. Then we can insert a frame. So with our frame, this is where our tools are going to be on. And I can reposition it and rescale it. Like that. And then I can change the background color to a nice blue or whatever you guys want. Then we can go down to the border size pixels and we can make it zero. Then what you're going to want to do is in your frame, we can insert a text button. And this will be our close button. Right there. Then I can change the background color to a nice red. And then I can move the border size pixels. Then I can go down to the font and change it to a nice cartoon or whatever you guys prefer. Then I can change the text to X so it looks like a close button. Then I can make the text color white and we can make the text scale so it's like a close button. And then we can rename it to close. Just so we know it's our close button. As so right now, I quickly made my buy buttons. My three arms are going to be a sword, a laser gun, and a slingshot. Also, I added an open button so you're able to open and close the GUI now, but we still need to do the scripting for it. Also, when you're adding in your open button, make sure it's in your screen dry and not on your frame, or this will not work. So now, if we go into our close button, we can enter a local script, and then I can do script.parent.mousepad one click. Is connect function. We could go down to script dot parent dot parent dot visible equals to false. So now that we're done that script, that means now when you click on the X, the the joy will close. Now if we go into our open button, we can do the same thing. We can enter a local script. Then go script dot parent dot mouse button one click is connect function. Then we could go down and we could do script dot parent dot parent oops dot parent dot frame dot frame dot visible equals to true. Now that I've done that, to test that works. We could go into our frame, we could scroll down our properties window, and we can make it no longer visible. And then I can press play. Now that we're in, if we click the open button, it works. And if we click the close button, it works. So now that everything works, we can get onto our leader stats. So now for our leader stats, if we go into a service script service, we can insert a script. Then I can name it leader stats. And now I can get scripting. So if we do game dot players dot player added is connect function. If we go down, we can go local leader stats equals to instance dot new. Folder, then we could go down and the leader stats dot name equals to leader stats. Then we could go down to leader stats dot parent equals to player. Then we could go down to lo local cache equals to instance dot new. And value. Now, if we go down, we can do cache dot name equals to cache cache. Now, if we go down, we can do cache dot value equals to one hundred. This is the amount of cache you'll start off with. 
And also why up here on your function, I forgot to add player. There you go. And if you go down, we could do cash dot parent equals to leader stat. And that should be your script. So now if we press play, we could test that this works. Now they're in. As you can see, we have our players, then we have the cash value 100. So now that this works, I'm gonna go quickly into my toolbox and I'm gonna go get all my items. Hey guys, right now I insert my tools. I have my slingshot, my sword, and my laser gun. And then I just renamed them because like before I was like doing sword and that, so I just quickly renamed them. Just close that off. And then like when you're instantly get it, it should say, are you sure you want to put this like in the starter pack or something? And make sure you press no or it'll put it like inside this little folder. It's not a really big deal if you press yes, you can just drag it into your workspace. So now that I've done that, we could go into our server storage and we can insert a folder. Then we can name it tools. Then we could just get all three of our tools and we could drag it in there in our server storage. Then in replicate storage, we want to insert a folder, and then we want to name it tool events. Inside there, we can insert remote event. Then we can do sword event. We can just duplicate that. Then we could do slingshot event. Then we could then do the last one. We can do laser gun event. So now that I've done that, we're going down to the last bit of the scripting. Oh great one, so for the last bit of the view, we can go into service script service and we can enter a script. Then we can name it by tools. And I'll go type up the script quickly. Okay, one, so right here is a script. You guys can go ahead and copy this quickly. And yeah, I think that's going to be it for this video. And if this video helped, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!